Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video, we are going to talk about the importance of thermal stability for your lasers. Today we are talking about diode lasers. So we have two Chinese lasers by Saint Smart and Ortho. They installed on one gantry. Uh, we call it laser combiner system. So it allows to combine two beams into one. I showed it in my previous video. And uh, they have active cooling with just one fan. So the problem with this system that if the temperature uh, in your lab or in your office or uh, garage is more than 30 Celsius, so it's closer to 90 Fahrenheit, so that can really damage or reduce lifetime of your lasers. So, uh, and if it's even more like 35 Celsius, like 100, closer to 100 Fahrenheit, that can definitely decrease uh, the lifetime of your lasers significantly. So what we did, we did actually a 10 watt plus pro laser that has extra cooling. So we have an aluminum plate where the laser diode is installed and we have two tech uh, plates called Peltier and external heat sink, heat sink. So the thing is that you have cold part of Peltier that goes and cools down your aluminum uh, uh, heat sink for your uh, laser, laser diode, and you have hot part. So the hot part, uh, the air is removed by a very effective turbine, a very effective fan. So once you start uh, the laser, the temperature will, uh, on idle, um, idle mode, will go closer to maybe 10 Celsius. So, so that can create some moisture on your laser and that uh, water can uh, start spill out from, from, your, from your laser model. So what we did, we actually offer you a DC-DC converter that actually helps you to control your tech coolers, your Peltier. So uh, usually normal Peltier, they consume about 12 volts, uh, 5 amps. Some of them consume 3 amps, uh, maybe 4. So we just want to make sure that all both uh, tech uh, plates are working on the maximum efficiency. So that's why with on this uh, laser, on this um, DC DC, we set up lower voltage, something like seven, eight, sometimes nine volts. So that will allow you to keep the temperature in range, for example, like 15, 25 Celsius. There are actually four different options how you can use or do not use this control uh, system. So you can actually uh, wire this box with one plate so it will be minimum power you can take two uh, you can plug it to into two uh, we have a few splitters here so uh, two plates you also may not use it at all and just wire uh, power up the laser with 12 volts 6 amps or 8 amps and for each system each plate so you'll have like third option, just one plate, maximum power, or fourth, or two plates on maximum power. So uh, it, it depends on what temperature you, ha you have in your, uh, in your lab, in your garage, or in your space where you operate the laser. The, ve the very important thing that the laser should be running at the temperature, so 10 watt plus uh, pro, at that temperature is okay, something like 15 Celsius up to 35 Celsius. You can run it with 40 Celsius, but we don't recommend it. So 35 is maximum. 10 watt uh, SE that we offer, uh, we suggest a temperature of something like 15 to uh, 25 Celsius. So it should be uh, something like we have now. So once your laser is power up, maximum power, you just need to control the temperature. We're actually working on automated uh, system that will control the laser turns on and off both Peltiers, but it's still under development stage and hope that will be ready by the beginning of next year. So let me show you how we can do proper, proper wiring. Okay, so here is the first option. We have one tech cooler that is connected with uh, DC-DC and uh, the fan 
um, the fan is blowing, removing hot, uh, hot air, and you see the temperature starts dropping. So now it's only one tech plate is working, and the temperature you see it goes down pretty quickly. So I like tech cooling. Yeah, it's it's getting getting colder. So now we can, yeah, and you see the temperature is already 15 Celsius. So probably don't need to go less. Okay, let's uh, let me show you how you what will happen if you turn connect the CDC with both tech. So here is a second option that uh, we have. Uh, we, we take a splitter and put one to one plate and second to a second tech plate. And you see the temperature starts dropping very fast. So probably under that it will be closer to 10 Celsius. So that's pretty much the limit. So don't go the laser less than this temperature. And like I said, you can also adjust uh, voltage here. Just changing the efficiency of the tech system. Okay, 9.1. Let's wait for a few minutes. Uh, now the temperature will uh, come back to, to maybe Let's start when it reaches 15 Celsius, and we'll start. We'll skip out. We'll skip third once the one tech is working. We'll turn on both tech coolers on maximum power. So you'll see how quickly the temperature will go down. Okay, let's turn off and let's wait for a few minutes. So okay, and let's show the fourth uh, option. We'll turn on the laser. The, the fan, and now we just plug the power to each tech cooler, and you'll see how quickly the temperature will go down. Okay, and you see the temperature is decreasing rapidly, so both tech coolers are working on maximum power, so that's well, you probably need to use when, when it's very, very hot, maybe like 35, maybe even goes to 40 Celsius. And this hot part becomes uh, hot as well. And it's getting hotter and hotter, but don't worry. We have an efficient turbine, efficient fan here. And yeah, the, this part, this cold part, getting cold. So. So now you know uh, how both tech uh, cooling systems work, how you can use our DC-DC model to control the temperature, and you know that it's very important to keep your laser uh, in a good temperature range, otherwise you really um, risk to decrease the lifespan of your laser. So I hope that you like this video, if you have any questions let me know. Uh, visit our website endurancelasers.com to learn more about our lasers and our online store endurance-lasers.com. If you have any questions, email me gf at endurancerobot.com and my phone is plus 7916-225432. Hope that you like this video and enjoy. Bye-bye.